What's up, guys? So this is a message that was put out by Brian's family. First and foremost, we are we care deeply for the four families who have lost their precious children. There are no words that can uh, accurately express the sadness we feel, and we pray each day for them. We will continue to let the legal process unfold, and as a family, we will love and support our son and brother. We have fully co cooperated with law enforcement agencies in an attempt to seek the truth and promote his presumptions of innocence rather than judge unknown facts and make uh, enormous assumptions. We respect privacy. Well, we respect privacy in this matter as our family and the family suffering loss can move forward through the legal process. Like, I I get it. Like, they that's still their kid, and whether your kid does something like I don't know how I could how I would deal with it. Like, it would be hard to deal with because the rest of your life, your son, ruined your life. Like as a family, like you as the father and. His mother. So the rest of their lives. They're going to be known as. Uh, the mother and father to the guy that killed the four kids in Idaho. That's what they're going to be known as, as for the rest of their lives. And and it's still their son. So, so I get it. But. There's some stuff in this that doesn't make sense. Like, flying down there to ride back with him from, fly all the way down there to see your son and then drive all the way back in the white car that they're looking for. Yeah, that doesn't make much sense to me. Like, was he going to, when he went back to school, was he going to take a different vehicle back to school? Was he not going to drive the white car back to school? Because more than likely, that's what the plan was. We won't know now because they they uh, arrested him before he went back. But was he going to leave the white car there and drive a different car home? Back to, uh, to the uh, apartment complex where he lived? Guess we'll never know, but I'm assuming that's probably why the father flew down there. And drove back with him. It's kind of like. Uh, I don't know. Knowing your kid killed. His fiance. And then you went on a camping trip together. And. It's because you knew it was going to be the last time you've seen your son. It, this is. This time this person. Instead of going on a camping trip. Flew all the way there to get their son. So they can have one last father-son trip on the way back to their house. Knowing he was going to get arrested eventually. Just my opinion. But what do you guys think? Comment below and let me know. We'll see you guys out in the next video. Peace. If you want to support my channel, you can do so by checking out my Facebook page. Link in the description. Bye, guys.